That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Hey there. Switch here. Welcome to the Switch Cat channel if this is your first time. And if this is not your first time, welcome back to the Switch channel with Switch Cat. A channel about the Switch with the cat. Today we've got Divinity Original Sin Definitive Edition 2 or Divinity 2 Original. You got it. There's the title right there. That's the one. I got this physical from uh, Limited Run Games, so if, if this is your thing, um, you might want to get out there and get it. I don't know if it's even still out. Let's start. Continue. Now, I know I love to uh, start games together with my Switch fam, but uh, in this case, you know, character creation it takes a long time. So rather than waffling over the massive amount of character creation, I've gone ahead and created a character and then sort of wandered through the tutorial thing, I guess. That doesn't necessarily mean I know what to do. I'm going to go back. Sheep! I don't know. This is the place where I started. I have no idea about this game, by the way. I'm not going to pretend that I do. Use ladder. Are you sure you want to leave tutorial deck? Every ship should have a tutorial deck. Yes. Don't know. I like this feature, though. This is something that would really have been awesome in, like, Morrowind. What's this? Searching. Bloop. Empty. Empty. Get. Bottle rack. Take all. Grotesque jars. Laboratory stuff. Hey, there's some money in here. Well, there's somebody walking around up there. Row of books. Candle holder. Bleh. I'm gonna sneak. There we go. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Medieval Edition. Why you're looking a bit more chipper. Yes. Looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice bit of work. Even if I do say so myself. Yes. I don't know what's going on. Do I need to talk to you? Ancient book yet. I'm guessing I should not get that. I'm gonna go. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Uh huh. Not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. Oh yeah, I'm in prison. Uh. Okay. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. Okay. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. I have, I have dialogue options. Um, blah, blah, blah. I will take my leave. There's been a murder here. Probably. I'm going to sneak now. Oh. I'm going to go over here and sneak now. Oh yeah. You can't see me. I wonder where I'm keeping this barrel. What's going on over here? Young childrens are also prisoners apparently. I have nothing to say to you prisoners. I'm here by mistake. You guys are probably here on purpose. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, are you the boss? Beast, no. Wow, look at this really tall creature. It's like the Gaminoans. 
Excuse me. As soon as the Inquisitor gets here, we'll hang you right over the side of this ship with it. It's locked. Somebody open this. Hey, open it. I'm busy watching for clues, sorcerer. Go take your sub story somewhere else. I'm not a sorcerer, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm trying to concentrate. They don't care about us. Or you guys are totally different from all the other people here. I'll give you that What'd you do? Did you get in trouble? What's up, man? Well, well. What have we here? Yes. A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if you'll do. Uh, for what? The lizard looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. I am a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. I guess I will humor him. Why not? I'm a pretty, you know, friendly guy. You like my teeth, huh? discoloration, but I've seen worse. After all, one can't expect to find prime merchandise on a squalid little ship like this. Yeah? Now, then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? Uh. I cannot. I'm not good at the cooking. Oh, goodness, no. Don't even mention the demon's testes that are turnips. Okay. On to the second question. Can you knit, weave, in short, uh, tailor? Mmm. Mmm. No, I can't. Yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic. A bag is as good as a shirt kind of stuff. Pretty much. It's the price that counts at the beginning of the game. Next. On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics. I'm after. Uh, no. You you can see kind of how I'm set up here. Just as I thought. That explains what's besieging my nostrils. Yeah, prison life's hard. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? Okay. As per your own testimony, you have the taste buds of a dung beetle, the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit, and your personal hygiene reminds one of a carcass rotting in the sun. Yeah, that sounds about right. Why? That won't do at all, see? I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Oh, what a shame. Ever so sorry. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that I failed your test. I know, I know, but <laughs> you just don't have what it takes. A good slave's made of sterner stuff, I'm afraid. I do agree. Own your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. You keep dreaming, you hear? I will. I, I appreciate the uh, encouragement. Why do they have lizard people here? You guys Argonians? I spent my life singing for my slaves to bring me my supper. These guys are royals or something. Boiled roots and rotten tubers, too. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. The indignity. Let's use your powers and destroy them or something. Where's your armies? Why do they have these lizard royals? Can I go, please? Hi. Can I go? It's a Magister, sir. Yes. Good, good. Magister Williams is just about done with the last passenger. Passenger. Okay. Fair and okay so far. Mm. Yeah, I'm fine. Glad to hear it. Why am I in chains? If you head on in now, Williams will get you short and fast. Okay. As a as a traditional CRPG of quality, this is a slow kind of a slow burn. I don't blame you if you're bored. But that's what the uh all those other videos on YouTube are for. <laughs> I just hope you can hear it. It's hard to guess what the sound levels are going to be. Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous-looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. Okay. So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella. 
Who's that? Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Windigo? She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. Okay. There are others whose lives must end. You're talking about me. You better not be. I'm the, uh, I'm the main character. You there, sorcerer. Yeah. Perfect Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Uh, given this situation, I'd be like, yeah, okay. By all means, do as the officer says. But you had better hurry, because... Because what? She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. I'm just about to create a scene. All right. So um, come on, man, quickly. If she casts off, the void walkers will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. I can see that. Precisely. Now, I'm not fighting. I'm out of here. Wow. Okay. Am I alive? What? What's happened? I got 400 XP, that's what happened. Tooltips. Press something to enable something. I understood. Wow, check that out. <laughs> I sure are a lot of... Ooh, I got some food in here. What's this? Broken source collar ammo llama. I'm gonna have to loot you, man. They got nothing on you. Take that money. Take that money in that bow. All right then. What else we got? Nothing. What's in here? Confiscated goods. Take all. Chub fish. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now the um, inventory is a little strange for the, at least compared to the game I just came from. Do like this. Equip mind. I have a bucket on my head, by the way. You just can't see it. <laughs> what do I got here? Grant skill all in. Paching. Can I use two web? No. Cannot be unequipped. All right. Well, I don't want to step in that fire, so. Use these uh, stairs. We got going on in here. You a dog. Okay. <laughs> That's different. What happened there? I guess we're having a storm or something. Going to mosey along. Need to get off this wreck. That's quick. Ouch. Why? Ooh. Nothing. I'll step in the fire. Oh wait. Three golds. It's like the, the chest holds gold that's worth less than the chest. I'm not gonna miss this opportunity. Shut up, I got things to do. Great gods. Something's pounding on the hull. Okay. Skull marked door. The marking on the door was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You don't recognize the symbol, but it's clearly warning you away. You press your palm against the door to open it. The wood feels neither cold nor warm, but simply gray. The color drains from your hand, and you are left numb. I'm guessing I'm not gonna mess with that that door. But I will continue on my quest for looting and actions. I think. Looked up in the fire. Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm on fire. How you doing? You pass through the door and are suddenly face to face with an undead. Are you an undead? And a glorious jewel sits in the middle of his forehead. Huh. The skeleton is quickly leafing through a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia, muttering to himself. Okay. No, no, no. What damn fools record knowledge on a pulped tree? 
I don't know, regular kind. It catches fire. It turns into must when wet. It cannot even resist acid. No wonder they're so bloody ignorant. Got a better, better idea, Mr. Skullhead? The skeleton looks up and notices you for the first time. How can he not notice me? I'm standing there literally engulfed in flames. Oh. Yes? Shouldn't you be running or screaming or some such? Shouldn't you be doing the same? And looks back to his book, frantically flipping from page to page. Yeah. Although your god did not gift you with much, but kindly used the little you were given. I don't know, man. I'm I'm fireproof. Do you obviously. Look at me and think, why yes, there is someone with organs enough to drown. <sighs> Trifling matters like water and poison do not concern me. How about being trapped for eternity of lifelessness in a ship that's at the bottom of the ocean? No, damp robes are the most I have to fear. Once this glorified skiff hits the sea floor, I will simply walk to shore. Oh, well that's convenient. Whereas you, I believe, have lifeboats to pointlessly squabble over. Hmm. I don't know. I believe you did. Although I was wearing the face of an elf at the time. I see. You can wear a face like a mask? I had a mask, rather ingeniously designed. Which allowed me to take that primitive form. Yes, far more primitive than just being bones. A mask that was stolen by that damned witch after her little scene. Okay. Still, she'll drown with the rest of these fools. And I will simply pluck my mask from her cold, dead hands. Yeah, that seems Indeed, pretty sensible. Just as sensible as getting off a sinking ship and leaving a fellow to his business. Yeah. I would say good day. But it seems quite likely that you're about to die a rather terrible death, so... No, I think the water will put the fire out. The skeleton shrugs casually and returns to his book. I want to touch that book and light it on fire. <laughs> Stupid skeleton. Now oh, I'm on fire again. You got anything? Oh, yes. I'll be taking that. Just open. I think I need to rest, dog. You know what I mean? Take some of this. I'm gonna take a rest, alright? My HP is restored. Yeah, because realism. <laughs> Alrighty, well, you know. So we can go this way. I want to at least get out of the boat. Then attack with A. Okay. So I can bash the door now? That's neat. Move my cursor to door A. Chop. Oh, the door has HP. That's cool. Uh, he eyes the collar circling your neck and reaches a hand towards his blade. Another sorcerer! Hey, let's chill out now. The Magister's companion doesn't blink, frozen in place at the sight of you. Mm -hmm. Hey man, you want to take this collar off? It'd be great. If I knew I had to rip that thing off, I wouldn't. Why? That crazy banshee comes screaming through, and now we got void bugs swarming up top. Sorcerer mutiny! What's a void bug? He whispers loudly to the other magister. Don't just cower there, Rix. Take out your blade. Yeah, take it out. Rix grabs his sword, which shakes in the rhythm of his trembling hand. Let's see. Sometimes you will be able to persuade the person you were talking to. Your answer, your stats, and your persuasion ability will decide how successful you will be. All right. I want to at least get to the top deck of the ship before this episode's over, but I'm running out of time. These things can't be all day long. Let's see. Intelligence, persuasion, strengths, persuasion, wits, persuasion. I almost was killed. That's what I would probably say. That lady almost killed me, too. I got fire on me. 
Persuasion failure, man. The magisters look to each other, then back to you, and unsheath their blades with a metallic zip. I know what blades unsheathing sounds like. How perfect is this? Do I get I get to go first, yeah? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. One. And then I'm gonna do this. This is the this is the one kind of downside, because I think this would have been perfect for action RPG stuff, but You're dead! Ow. Fool, you cannot harm me. Ow. You stop, please. Ow. Stop it. Alright then. Here's how it's gonna go. Boom. I don't have enough AP for that, I guess. Whatever that means. Do it more. See what this got for me. Hot bar. Meh. 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 I don't know what that did, but there we go. Am I done? I am encouraged. Now your turn. Go ahead, wail on me, man. It's all good. Yep, that's what happens. Alright then. I'm gonna go over here. That's a critical hit, by the way. You feel that? Hold B to end turn. Alright. Ouch. Ouch. I don't know if I like this. I'm just gonna attack you again, alright? Boom. And that's that. Now I'm on loot, Jeff. Ooh, you got a stool. Three gold. You guys don't have any money on you. You guys must not get paid at all. What else we have? Oh wait, let's put that back. Hang on. Hot bar. Minor healing potion. Consume. My minor health has been restored. What's this? Perform a heavy attack that deals one million billion damage. I want that. So, since we're here, let's do my favorite thing. Search everything. Display case. Yes. Ink pot, shabby letter, get it. Destroyed painting, rip painting, chair, candle, candle, candle holder. Ship is full of garbage. Hey, I didn't need to use my potion. That's dumb. I should have looked around first. Since I obviously had all day. Get out. What's this? Uh, I don't know. Trap disarming kits. I understood. Is there a trap? Really? Well, we're gonna have to do it this way. Oh wait, this is that place I was. That's dumb. There's like no point in this. This whole area has no point at all. Ow, my fire! Any you dead guys know how to get out of here? Not that way. Aha! I don't see any reason to go into Skull Door. Got anything on you? Got that checked. <laughs> okay, going to the surface, yeah. More battle. Whoa. Okay. Understood. My turn.
Sure, a lot of these guys. Ow. Um. That was dumb. Run away! Wow, look how much AP that takes. What is that? I got to the surface just to get dead. This, this is lame. Attack! Got 100 XP from that, you bug. You know what I mean? Miss! Ow. Ow! I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. Ow. Game over! <laughs> Guess that's a perfect end for the episode. So now you're getting a chance to see Divinity something blah 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 number two. And, um... What it holds in store for you. When you play. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna have to give this another try, but not right now. In the meantime, I hope you guys are having a happy Monday. And if not, um... See what you can do about it. Be good and have a good day. Bye.